Assalamu alaikum everyone. This is Rubel. So today we will learn how to group test case. So as we learned previously on the manual testing, right? So we have a test suit, like a smoke test suit. We may have a regression test suit. We may have sanity or functional test suit. For the automation, we mainly will have like the smoke and regression test. So like when we run the smoke test, so as soon as any code deployed to any environment, like UA, UAT, uh, or a staging zone, uh, as soon as the code is deployed, we run our smoke test suit to make sure none of the functional existing functionality is broken. And then we run the regression test where include all the positive, negative boundary test, right? And so today we will learn how we can create the test suit uh, in our uh, program. So, so far, uh, last tutorial we learned uh, and we, oh, we already run this program and it is working as fine. So let me run it again um, to make sure it's not broken. Oops. So something is not right here. Maybe it. Oh, it is not working. My server. Customer ID. Okay, so something was wrong. I'm not sure what was going on, but right now it's working fine, no issue, right? So now what I'm going to do, um, I am going to group this test case. So let's uh, make this hype test case as a, a smoke test. So let me bring in, in uh, since we are, oh, we are going to use the pi test. So the pi test, they have, um, the pi test have one of the feature called uh, marker. The so PyTest marker. So that means we have to import the PyTest and then we, we can use the at PyTest dot dot mark dot. And this is the name, this is the um, whatever name we want to um, do, right? So instead of web test, we can put smoke test, regression test, and whatever test case, uh, whatever name we provide. Then we want to run. The PyTest hyphen B, and we need to see more details. I can put hyphen S. Then this is the mark, or we have to use the hyphen M, and then we have to say like what tag you have to run. If you have a multiple tag, as uh, like we will have a smoke test and regression test, right? So we'll we will um, we will doing like exactly the similar way. Okay, so now let me minimize this window. And I'm going to put it on the side uh, and go back here. And the first I have to import the PyTest. Import PyTest. And after that, I have to use the tag. So I say add PyTest dot mark dot smoke and what i can do is just copy everything and paste it here so that's it so this is the smoke test right so now if i run this test using the mark Terminal and uh, how I can run is a pi test. Type in v. Type in m. Then I have to type a smoke. You see, all the test cases pass. You see, I don't see any details because I didn't provide the s right. So I can say s and v. Type in s. So now I you see the ID number. Uh, ID, ID. 
here is the ID number. And I do see also the PyTest unknown mark warning, right? Uh, we will, our next video, we'll, we'll learn how to get rid of this warning. So now, since uh, PyTest, this one is working, um, uh, this test. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this whole thing. And let me comment out that uh, regression. Regression test. So this way I'll, I will not be messed up my this mock test. So control V. Oops. Command V. So now I have to change two things. I have to change the method name, uh, test case name. Because I this you know like in same file you should not have the same uh, test uh, I mean test uh, method name okay so otherwise we can run that so where is it where is my comment discuss file so this one let me put some thing here so I can say this one is uh, regression regression and you can change the name like. 21, 31, 41, 51. I mean, just I try to avoid the similar name, right? Like we have a disk case four, disk case three. Uh, so, you know, it should not be same Python file name. So I'm going to copy this regression and replace here. You know, like in the same file, we, we may have 100 test cases, right? Some of the test cases we will have for a smoke test. Some of the test cases may qualify regression. So that's why like how we we choose whatever we based on our needs. So now if I run with the regression, uh, let's run smoke first to see it is working. So smoke is working good, so five test cases. And four deselect, right? Because uh, why is four deselect? Five. So how many we have? One, two, one, two, three, four. So I think I didn't copy one thing. So this is to get customers. So I don't have a great customer. So that's why it's a four select. So let me copy the first one as well. And Paste it here, copy the regression. And I also have to rename the create customer. Why am should we create customer? So create customer. This should be create customer. Great customer. So now it should be good. I have to change the method name. One one. Okay. So now in okay, let me run the smoke again. So it should be five pass five deselect. And now if I run it to regression test. Regression. It should be five select five deselect again. Right, because we run the same thing. So now, and and one more thing, like the this whatever name we provide, uh, we have to type exactly the same way because it's uh, case sensitive. So, it, like for for example, if you provide capital one, uh, capital R, uh, it will uh, it will uh, deselect everything. It will not recognize. So it's case case sensitive. Case sensitive. So you have to make sure that. Uh, whatever name you put, we have to when we run, we have to provide the same name. So I'm going to stop here. So the next video we will learn how to get rid of this PyTest unknown learning. Okay, thank you.